Begin by removing the volume control knob green arrow by pulling it straight out. At the 6 o'clock position, insert a 2 mm Allen key and press it into the internal screw. Rotate the Allen key 90 degrees counterclockwise and at the same time pull on the MID unit. The mid unit should pull out of the center of the dash. Note, if you are only replacing the mid unit, you can stop here. Reach into the mid unit and from behind push the IHK control unit towards the gear shift lever. The unit should pop out. You can turn the ignition key on, apply the brakes and move the shifter rearward to get it out of the way, but you need to use wheel chocks or apply the parking brake so the vehicle does not roll if you're on an incline. You don't need to do this. There is enough room to pull out the IHK unit and get access to the connectors. Rotate the IHK control unit to expose the rear. You will see four connectors, green arrows, that need to be unplugged to remove the unit. Squeeze the small black electrical connector on the left and pull the connector straight back. Squeeze the two tabs on each side of the three pin connector on the right side of the IHK unit and pull to unplug it. This connector may be tight. The last two connectors in the middle are cam lock types. Push in on the center locking tab and pull the lever over it. As you rotate the lever, the connector will pull itself out of the unit so you can unplug it. Do the same for the final black connector. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.